That's right, Jim and Dana. And although Metro Police officers did take a suspect who they believe is responsible for these three robberies into custody, some students and parents are still on edge. Now on Tuesday, which was the second day of the new school year, police were called regarding the first robbery, which happened down the street from Durango High School. Moments later, officers reported a second robbery by Spring Valley High School. Then, nearly an hour after the second one, police responded to a third robbery, this time near Valley High School. With this only being the first week of school, some students and parents are worried. Before, it was like relatively safe to walk home from school, and now kids, even kids, have to live in fear that they're going to get hurt or robbed or killed from just trying to get home. It's not right because they go to school, come to, come to learn, and then they just want to go home or hang out with friends. They shouldn't have to give up their stuff. Now I'm a little concerned, but hopefully they will get everything under control, you know. It's scary. These kids are going to school to learn. They're not going to school to be robbed and hurt. Now, News 3 did reach out to the Clark County School District Police to see if they're going to be taking any steps or doing anything differently to help protect those students and, of course, their parents and keeping their parents peace of mind. But when we were at Durango High School earlier this afternoon, actually right after the kids got out of school, we did see two officers patrolling the area, including down the street from Durango High School, where one of those robberies did take place. So we'll be continue to update you guys on all of this information as well for now reporting from Valley Park. I'm Ambar Rodriguez. Back to you two in the studio.